in leukemia, many different subtypes have been identified. And those different subtypes, many of them, have mutations in transcription factors. Transcription factor like RUNX or CBP alpha. Um, we ourselves work on a factor called EVI1. It's questionable whether this is really a transcription factor or an epigenetic regulator. For instance, patients with an AMO1 ETO translocation, which are patients with a RUNX abnormality, as I said, there's a transcription factor. These are patients that belong to favorable risk leukemias. So I don't think people really did a lot to try to target that fusion, because these leukemias are really sensitive for chemotherapy. And um, I think people put much more effort in, you know, really in the, in the, in the classical treatments. Um, other leukemia, CVP alpha. That's interesting, CVP alpha is a leukemia which have frequently two mutations in CVP alpha. Uh, both alleles are affected, right? You have two chromosomes and both alleles are affected. And these leukemias also are among the good risk leukemias. Um, I think it still would be very interesting to understand mechanism of transformation, but these patients respond very well, relatively well, to current therapies. So maybe that's one of the reasons that people then really dig into the, that mechanism. So I myself, for instance, work on a gene called EVI1. As I said, you know, transcription factor, epigenetic, we're not sure. Leukemias with that abnormality are really, really um, among the unfavorable cases. They really respond very, very poor to therapy. And maybe that is then also one of the reasons to really dig into the mechanism of why EVI1 leukemias are so aggressive. And can we use that as a target to treat those leukemias? Because we know that EVI1 is absolutely important for the leukemia. And when you turn it off in models, then you can really um, kill the leukemia cells in a model, right? It's in models. We work with models trying to understand uh, the disease.